Well, the Supreme Court has extended the temporary hold on Texas's immigration law, SB4, which allowed police to arrest migrants who illegally crossed the border from Mexico, was originally set to take effect on March 10th, but it is now blocked indefinitely, giving all nine Supreme Court justices time to figure out what are the next steps to take. Our Lisa Ligarza spoke with an immigration attorney about what this all means for undocumented immigrants as Texas Senate Bill 4 remains in limbo. It's been months of uncertainty for those living and documented in the state of Texas. Senate Bill 4 was passed in late 2023. The bill was originally scheduled to take effect March 5, but has been challenged ever since. The latest developments came Monday afternoon when Supreme Court Justice Samuel Alito extended an order bearing Texas officials from detaining and jailing immigrants suspected of crossing the U.S. southern border. Silvia Mins, an immigration attorney in the state of Texas, believes this will affect all Hispanics in the state, whether they are undocumented or not. It will affect everyone, right? Because the police can assume that because you look Hispanic, you don't have papers, and they may detain you and take you um, until you can prove that you are uh, legally in the United States. Mintz says the biggest impact will be felt by a mixed status immigrant families. According to the Center for American Progress, there are nearly 2.7 million people who have at least one person who is undocumented in their family. And over 1 million children in the state have at least one family member without documentation. Mintz says that even if a person doesn't have a legal status, they are still protected in a way through the U.S. Constitution. You have the right to remain silent. Uh, you don't have to speak. You don't have to tell uh, the officer where you are, where you were born, if you are legally here. SB4 criminalizes unauthorized migration at the state level, making the act of entering the U.S. outside of a port of entry already a federal offense into a state crime. Mintz adds you can ask the officer if you are being arrested and if you are, then you have the right to ask for an attorney present while being interrogated. You are in interrogation and you have the right to remain silent and do not incriminate yourself. Also, it's important to remember that in a criminal matter, if you don't have money to hire an attorney, an attorney will be provided for you at no cost for you uh, because it's important that all um, the rights of the person who is being charged are protected. Under SB4, a person found guilty of illegally entering the U.S. outside of a port of entry can be punished up to six months. And if a person is found illegally re-entering, they can be charged up to 20 years in prison. For KGNS News, I'm Lisa Garza. Thanks, Lacelli. SB4 was signed by Governor Greg Abbott in December of last year and has been challenged by the Biden administration, who says the measure tramples on the federal government's authority to oversee immigration issues. Those who support it, on the other hand, say the federal government has not done enough.